Hello again, it's Keith James with 96 One in the Mornings and how to solve a Rubik's Cube in under two minutes. Last time, we did the third step in completing the bottom layer, so we got the whole bottom layer now, which you probably feel really good about. But here in episode six today, we're gonna do the entire middle layer. And instead of doing it in three steps like we did with this one, we're only gonna do it in one. And you're gonna use the exact same steps you used uh, from this one here too, the same, same algorithm. So it's gonna be a piece of cake and we're gonna dive in right now. So we've got your center pieces already set in the middle layer here. All we need is these four edge pieces right here. And we're gonna look for those as we look for everything else in that top layer. So we're gonna see all kinds of different colors, but let's look at, here's, here's the red and blue one, okay? We're gonna look and try and put that in between the red and blue centers. So this piece here has to go right into there. And here's how we're gonna do it. So the first thing you do is look at the side of your edge piece, and that's the red side. You're gonna put that on top of the red center, which it already is, making a red T. And then you got your blue side over here. So here's how we're gonna do this. Hold your cube just like this, all right? You're gonna move the top of the T this way. You're gonna move it away from you. Then you're gonna move the opposite side also away from you. Then put your T back, and then put the opposite side back. And if you did it right, you'll notice you just lifted this corner out, put it right there, and matched it up with your edge piece. So now we have these two pieces that have to both go in here now. So you see kind of where we're headed with this? All right, so this guy here, just like the white pointed in whatever direction it was last time, you're gonna do the same thing. Move the top face in the direction white is pointing, then move this side up to make room. We're gonna put slide that right in there. Top goes back, and this side, where is it? This side goes back too, and if you look, Boom, you just got both of those in there. We gotta do that three more times. Look at the top of the cube. There's the blue orange. Looking for the blue orange centers. I'm gonna match up the side, which happens to be orange this time. Gonna match it up with the orange center. So we're gonna go the opposite direction this time. Gotta go away from yourself, okay? So here we are. Goes away. This side goes away. Put it back and put it back. And if you did it right, You've lifted that corner and matched it up with the edge piece, edge piece once again. So we got to put it in there now. So go top opposite direction that you started with. Put this side away, then back, and then back. Slid it right in there. Now we have two corners solved. Looking for the next one, orange and green. All right, so we're going to find which one's on the side orange is. So we're going to move it this way. There's your orange and green centers. That piece has to go right into there. And we're going to do it. I'm going to do a little bit quicker this time, okay? So away, away, back, back. All right, there's your pair. Has to go right, right into there. All right, away, away, back, back. Now we have three corners, or three edges rather. We got one left. We need the uh, orange and red one. And there, uh, did I say orange? Red and green one. There it is. Okay, so we got to make sure we make the T. There it is. Match the side up with the uh, with the center. There's our T. Move it away, this side away. Put it back, put it back. We got those two, so move them away the other direction. This side away, put it back, and put it back, and voila. There we have it. Two layers of the cube solved now. Piece of kit. I gotta go through one more example with you. Sometimes you will have an edge piece in place, actually but it'll be in the wrong orientation. So like here, here you can see that it's backwards from the red and blue centers. Or you have one in here that doesn't belong in there, but you gotta pull it out somehow. And this, you use the exact same moves you just did, and this is how you do it. So once again, pretend like, you know, this is some other piece and you're just trying to make it happen. You just go away, away, back, back. Opposite direction, opposite side, back, and back. Okay, so there we go. We just pulled out the piece we needed, so it's no longer in here, here it is over there. So again, use the exact same moves to take yourself out of uh, when you have an edge piece placed but in the wrong orientation or in the wrong spot in the, in, in the two different centers that it needs to be. So that's it, that's episode number six. Solve both layers, piece of cake, just like that. So we'll see you here next time. We're gonna start tackling the top layer, which is a bit of a doozy, but once again, I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step -step piece of cake. You've got two thirds of the cube already solved and I can't wait to show you what's, what's, what's coming up next. So I'm Keith James with 96.1 in the mornings and we'll see you next time on how to solve a Rubik's Cube in two minutes or less.